Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure BitLocker on your Windows 11 device. So let's say you've installed Windows 11 or if you've upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and you want to actually encrypt your C drive or uh, turn on BitLocker on your device should in case something goes wrong then someone should not be able to access your, or your device easily. So what we need to do is I'm going to, you're going to go to your C drive and you just right click and we have the option called turn on BitLocker. So it says choose how to unlock your drive at start startup so we can actually go for a, a USB flash drive or we can enter a password. So I'm going to actually choose for the password and enter the password and enter the password again and then click next. So yeah, it says how do you want to back up your recovery key so be very very careful because without you backing up your recovery key if something goes wrong with your device you will not be able to get into your device without that recovery key so I'll, i will advise you to either save your your bitlocker key to a usb flash drive or save it to a file or actually print it out if you're working in a enterprise environment in a company definitely your bitlocker will be saved to a shared drive or it will be saved to the company Active Directory or to your Azure Active Directory account. If you are, you can as well save it to your ad, um, to your Azure ad, um, Active Directory account if you are using Office 365. But I'm going to actually just print the recovery key, and I'm going to just make a Microsoft print to PDF. I'm going to select that, which will give me the option to save this file. So I'm just going to actually just call it BitLocker key and then click save then i should be able to click next and here it says um, choose how much of your drive to encrypt so it says encrypt used disk space only is fast and best for new pieces and drives we can as well enc 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 encrypt the entire drive is slower but best for pieces and drives already in use so I, I would actually prefer to go for this but for this um video purpose let me just go for the first one so that this it will go more faster and not that too long so i'm just going to go for click next say new encryption mode best for fixed drives on this device or compatible mode so i'm going to go for the new encryption mode and click next so run the BitLocker system check. The system check ensures that BitLocker can read the recovery key and encryption key correctly before encrypting the drive. So I'm just going to go for continue, select that. And it says the computer must be restarted before we can configure BitLocker. So let me just restart now. Okay, so remove the CD drive from this computer. I'm just going to actually select and then let me just eject this CD drive. So it has been injected and then we can click close and restart again now. So my device is restarting now. So let me just come back again and show you when the BitLocker. Okay, see, I think it's good. it goes very, very fast. So, but be careful because I'm using an Azeti keyboard. I think my keyboard now will change to QWERTY. Let me just try and see if that is the case. If I try to enter, you can see it says incorrect password because my keyboard changed to QWERTY during um, the startup. So I'm just going to enter my password again. Enter, and I think this time is going to work. It says incorrect password. Let me just let me just pause this video and see what the problem is. And I think the problem was my caps lock was not turned on. So let me try again. Hit enter. And here we go we i'm able to log on so i was my caps lock was my normal lock was actually turned off so that's why i was receiving error message so if my device starts start it will actually encrypt only the used file okay it's trying to start right now so let me just enter my password i think here let me see if i'm selecting the right keyboard okay that's good So my device have restarted. So let me go to File Explorer, 
and if I go to Fire Explorer, let me open this, this, this PC, and you can see that my device is now being has been encrypted. But because I I went for the fast en en encryption, so everything goes very faster, and it will only encrypt the file that I've used, and instead of encrypting the whole device, so we can decide to actually just we can change our BitLocker password. We can as well manage BitLocker. Let me just click on Manage BitLocker. Yeah, you can see we can remove the password, we can turn off BitLocker from this device and we can back up our recovery key, we can decide to even change our password. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and if you have any question, you can always send me a personal email and I will reply to you as quick as possible. Bye.